Hi guys! Welcome to Trejalsi Channel! Welcome to Quarter 2, Week 9, Day 1. Our main objectives are Describe interaction among living things in the environment. Second, identify biotic and abiotic factors. And the last one is to describe the effect of the different environmental factors to the life cycle of organisms. Come on, let's have fun while learning. Before we start, let's have a short review of our past lesson. Can you choose the correct word in the box which will complete its sentence? Write your answers in your notebook. Let's check your answers. For number one, the correct answer is water. For number two, shelter. Number three, food. Number four, space. And last number, we have shelter. I do hope you got a perfect score. To start our new lesson, kindly list down 10 things that catch your attention. And then you're going to determine them whether they are living or non-living things. You may now start. Most of your answers a while ago are correct. So we can differentiate the materials under living things and non-living things. And now let's proceed to your group activity. It was entitled, Is it important? So here are the materials. You have pencil, notebook, and the activity sheet. So we have here procedures. Please read them carefully before answering your activity. Okay? For group 1, 2, and 3, here are the thing or the activity that you should complete. You're going to fill in the table. Okay? For group 4 to group 6, the title of your activity is What is in the picture? So, the materials are pencil, notebook, and activity sheet. Please follow also the procedures before doing your activity. This is the sample pictures that you are going to use in the activity. And now, it's time for you to present your output. Based on your activity, what living things did you see in your assigned area? What did you observe about what they're doing there? Are the things they are doing important to them? Are they interacting with one another? How do they interact? How do you call this interaction that exists among living things or organisms? What kind of environment is in the picture 1? What about in picture 2? Picture 3? What do we call this habitat? What organisms can be found in environment or habitat 1? Habitat 2? Habitat 3? What are the environmental factors affecting the life cycle of organisms? In what way does water help in the life cycle of organisms? What about the food? the shelter, and the space. What will happen to the organisms if there is limited food or insufficient water? What about if it is limited space for the organism? Or if there's no shelter? What will happen to them? Here are the different terms that we can encounter 
in our lesson. The first one is ecosystem. When you say ecosystem, it is a complex unit of the environment wherein these biotic and abiotic interactions and organism-to-organism -organism relationships happen. You already heard the word biotic and abiotic from the definition of ecosystem. Now, let's define them. So, when we say biotic, they have life or we call it the living things. For example, we have human, animals, and organisms. While abiotic, they have no life or we also call it the non-living things. Here are the examples of abiotic factors. We have climate, sunlight, temperature, air, nutrients, water or the moisture, soil, and carbon dioxide. This greatly affect the way of living of organisms. After knowing the meaning of ecosystem, let's proceed to the six components of it. So the first one, we have the sun. We all know that the sun is the source of heat and light on earth. The second one is the producers. So they are the plants, algae, and bacteria. The third one, we have the abiotic substances. Okay, we have the soil, water, air, temperature, and so on. And number four, we have the primary consumers. We also have secondary consumers and they can be in the form of herbivores or in the animals that eat plants, carnivores, those are the animals that eat meat and we have omnivores wherein they can eat both plants and animals. And the sixth component is the decomposers or the meat also called the reducers. For example, we have the fungi. Here is an example of a food chain where we can see the six components of the ecosystem. So the first one, we have the producer, which is the grass. We all know that the grass get enough sunlight coming from the sun and we also have the water. Okay, so that is the abiotic factor, the sun and the water. And the primary consumer who eats the plants or the grass or the grasshopper. Then followed by the secondary consumer, which is the frog. The frog is an example of carnivores because it eats the uh, other animal or insect rather. And then the third or the tertiary consumer will have the snake. So the snake can eat the frog. And we have also final consumer or we have here the example which is the hawk. Okay, the hawk, it can be um, if the snake is dead, it can be eaten by the hawk. And the last the one if the hawk is already been dead, okay, it will decompose or it will turn into uh, fungi. And because of the fungi, it will decompose. So that is our decomposer. Here are another term to be remembered. We have the word habitat. When you say habitat, it is a place where an organism makes its home. Examples of habitat, we have pond and forest. Another example, we have grassland and ocean. Now, let's talk about the four components of habitat. The first one is shelter. It provides home for the animals or it protects it from other animals and extreme weather. The second one is the water. Okay. It is, it is needed for survival. Number three, food. It keeps them strong or it is used for them to get energy, perform life processes, for organisms growth and development of the body. 
And last one is the space. Okay, this is where they can obtain resources like food, water, and oxygen. So based on our discussion, what will happen to all organisms if there is no sunlight? What do you think will happen to the life cycle of organisms if all environmental factors are present in a habitat? What if one or all of the factors are absent? What will happen? Here are the things you should remember. The environmental factors affecting the life cycle of organisms are as follows. Uh, food, water, shelter, and space. The environment is composed of biotic and abiotic factors or its components. Let's find out if you really understood our lesson. Can you get your notebook and answer the following? We're going to choose the letter of the correct answer. time to check your answers for number one the correct answer is letter a for number two the correct answer is letter d for number three we have letter c number four we have letter a and last but not the least for number five we have letter c i do hope you got a perfect score and for your assignment Kindly make a short essay on how biotic and abiotic interact with each other. You're going to put it on a paper. Good day, kids. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, everyone. God bless. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share. Please also click the subscribe button. Thank you.